People often say we're very biased and we only do positive reviews. Unfortunately, this video is going to be proof that we don't. Stick around for the Hans G HU282 PPS review. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So let's start off with what I do like. It's 28 inches and it's 4K, which means that it's a really nice, you know, size per or pixel uh, density, um, and it's just a really nice size for for 4K. Um, I also like the sort of brushed aluminium plastic on the back, um, which looks pretty cool. Although the stand is glossy chrome. Um, and the buttons for the menu are on the back, which actually, surprisingly, was quite easy to use, even if it did confuse me um, a little bit at the starts. Um, you also get two 3 watt speakers with a glossy sort of plastic finish. Um, these really are not anything to be used ever. Um, I'll give you an audio test uh, later on, but yeah, they, they really aren't the best. Um, now on the I.O. you've got audio in and out. You've got a single display port, two HDMI ports, which I believe are not HDMI 2.0, and also a DVI-I port, um, and also the AC power in. Now for me that's a bit confusing because the only port that can actually run the 4K 60Hz that this uh, monitor can do is the display port. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure too much what the purpose of the HDMI ports were. Um, maybe if you want to do console gaming at 1080p, um, I guess. The stand, um, while it does look quite cool before you touch it, um, is quite difficult to actually remove as far as I found. I couldn't work it out personally. And it's also very ba fairly basic with only tilt, although there is a Visa stand there, a Visa mount, if you can work out how to remove the stand. Now, um, the biggest problem with this, and the one, the, the main reason why I really kind of don't like this is um, not because the, the entire sort of monitor is covered with a pane of glass. That's normally quite stylish. The biggest problem is that the, the actual panel is about a centimeter back from this glass, which makes a, just a really undesirable viewing experience and just looks genuinely, you know, pretty bad to look at. As you can see, there's actually a reflection on the uh, sort of inside of the monitor, um, but, you know, just before the panel there. Um, and also because there's a TN panel, the color, uh, you know, color reproduction and viewing angles really aren't great. As you can see here, in the top left hand corner versus the right hand, bottom right hand corner, the colors are completely different. So that's something to be aware of. Um, and personally, I don't really see too much of where this is meant to go. Um, by the way, the uh, menu system is okay. Um, it seems to be fairly well laid out, but it doesn't really look that great, and there really isn't much here. Um, also, DisplayPort 1.1 seems to be the standard, uh, the, the default, so you have to actually go in and change that before it will even run at um, 4K. So that's something to be aware of as well if you do uh, end up having this monitor in front of you. Um, but yeah, I don't really see where this is sort of set. It's got a glossy um, screen, you know, so not matte, which means you can see a perfect reflection and has a lot of glare. Um, and yeah, that's basically, I mean, it, it's it's good for productivity in a sense that it's 4K. Um, but then, you know, it's really not a gaming monitor because of that sort of glossy panel and, you know, just generally that inset panel, which just really doesn't look great. Um, it's TN, so it's not a designer's monitor. Um, and then just generally, uh, I guess because of the price that it's relatively cheap for a 4K monitor, um, I guess it could be used for, you know, uh, just general use. Um, by the way, here's an audio test. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So I'm going to take you through the setup of the chair real quick. So as you heard, these uh, speakers really aren't the best. I mean, it's quite standard for, you know, monster speakers to be pretty bad. I mean, these really kind of were pr pretty, pretty bad. So, yeah, um, wouldn't recommend using them at all. Turn them off, you know, rip them out if you have to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to give my uh, my thoughts and opinions, the pros and cons, and the, the scores now. I really wanted to like this monster. Um, Hansbury reached out to us, and it's always nice when companies do that. And obviously, we like to make a, a decent impression. Um, for them, but um, unfortunately that just isn't warranted with this monitor. The screen being so far behind the glass there is just not, um, you, you know, not, not acceptable for me um, personally. And uh, yeah, the something that seems to be happening a lot recently is that I'm being stumped by a lot of products. I kind of, I'm, I'm a bit confused at where this, why this exists, where it's meant to sit in the market, because. 
Um, it's not a gaming monitor because it's 60 hertz. Generally, 4K is still a bit too high resolution at the moment for graphics horsepower, and it's glossy as well as the the screen, you know, the panel being too far back. Um, and you know, it's not a gaming aesthetic. It has a sort of office slash designer aesthetic, but offices, well, they don't need 4K. Plus, you know. It's glossy, so office lights are going to just ruin your work experience. Um, and it's not a designer's monitor by any stretch because it's not, it's TN, it's not IPS, so I, I can't see where it's meant to sit. Let me know if you've got any ideas in the comments down below of who should have, like, who should have this monitor and if it's, you know, worth it to them. Obviously, it is a relatively, you know, it's a relatively cheap monitor uh, for 4K, um, although it's still quite expensive if you're just looking at monitors in general. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. And um, yeah, if you take a look at pros and cons, um, the only pro that I can really see is that it's 4K. Um, you know, and 28 inches is kind of the right size for 4K for me. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the cons are just that, you know, the panel's uh, too far behind the glass, it's glossy. Personally, I don't really get the, the two HDMI inputs. Uh, because you're meant to use DisplayPort for this, really. Um, it's not even HDMI 2.0, so that's strange. Um, but yeah, in terms of the sort of scores, I think we're going to have to give a 3 for everything except for style, because while it's off, it's quite good looking, I guess. Um, and yeah, just other than that, I mean, I can't really recommend this product to anyone, unfortunately. It's, it's not something that I really enjoyed using, um, or just, you know, can see anyone else enjoying using either, so... That's, uh, that, I guess that's just it. If you've got any comments about the monitor, the video, or anything else, leave them in the comments down below as usual. Feel free to hit the like button if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, but as I said, leave a comment and let us know what your thoughts. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our, uh, our awesome merchandise, including, well, these deliciously soft hoodies. Don't worry, you don't have to get one with Tech Team GB on it. We do have a couple of funny designs, including professional nuisance, and you're looking at the wrong head. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to add a few more as well, just sort of as the months go on. So if you want a funny t-shirt and you want to help us out, check those out. Check out some of our other videos that are over here. Um, check out Amazon Affiliates if you want to help us out as well, because if you buy anything on Amazon, it helps us out so much if you just click the link over there and uh, and, and use those links um, wherever you are, you USA, UK. It doesn't have to be for tech either, just anything you, you want. And also check us out on Facebook and Twitter for um, all the updates on just general stuff that we do, as well as just tech news. And check out the website as well. So yeah. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the next video.